Hi everyone! Time for another book rec slash craft with bookseller Elise. This week we're going into children's lit. We are talking about... Ooh, it's so tiny on the bookshelf. Uh, we're talking about Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine. It's an oldie but a goodie, folks. Uh, Ella Enchanted is a retelling of Cinderella, obviously. Um, came out in the late 90s. Um, Gail Carson Levine has written many different fairy tale retellings, Ella Enchanted. It, there's um, a companion, which is a retelling of Snow White called Fairest, which doesn't get the love it deserves. It's amazing. Um, if you ask any of my fellow booksellers, The Two Princesses of the Mar is also an amazing, amazing book. But today we're talking about her first and probably most popular book, Ella Enchanted. This is my old copy with the uh, trade paperback cover from when they did the movie with Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway's done uh, movies of pretty much the books that define my childhood, Ella Enchanted and the Princess Diaries series. If you've seen the movie, it's cute. It's very cute. Not as good as the book. Always. But this one in particular, it does not do a book justice. I really need a miniseries. It's what I deserve. But Ella Enchanted is a retelling of Cinderella. As I said, it follows Ella of Frel, uh, who is cursed by the fairy Lucinda uh, with the gift of obedience. So Lucinda sees it as a gift and a virtue. Ella sees it as a curse because it is. Imagine not being able to say no when someone tells you to do something. It's horrible and it's especially horrible um, as Ella begins to develop a friendship with Char, who is the prince of the kingdom and also the serpent starts to develop feelings for Char and what that curse of obedience may mean for them. It's really cute. It's very, very funny. There's a lot of slapstick comedy. There's a lot of physical comedy in a book. Um, and Ella is just a very funny person. One of the things she really enjoys doing is making Char laugh. And I laugh with her. Also, Lucinda is ridiculous. Um, Ella's friend Mandy, who is also a fairy like Lucinda, dealing with Lucinda, very, very funny. It's a kid's book, but it's not just a kid's book. Read Ella Enchanted if you haven't already. Buy it for your friends. Buy it for your friends or your kids. Buy it for your friends' kids. Buy it for everyone. Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine. Now we have to do a craft. As you can see behind me, because I've already done it. Ooh, Vanna White. We're doing a garland, pennant, bunting, whatever you want to call it. It's a bunch of triangles that make a banner. Um... I've been watching a lot of Bake Off lately, so that just put me in the mood. You can make yours book-themed, you can make yours just a bunch of patterns, you can make yours a birthday bunting. Whatever it is, this is simple, easy to make bunting, DIY, that you can do with stuff in your house if you don't feel like sewing fabric. Let's do it! For this craft, you're going to need some paper. I have a mix of plain paper I'm going to draw on and pattern paper. Some ribbon for your bunting to hold it up some scissors and a pencil to draw and trace out things, some glue or other materials to attach your papers to your string, and markers if you're going to color it in, you're going to need to color it with something. So our first step is to make the banners that are going to be on our pennants. So our first step is to make a pattern that we're going to cut out and use for all of our other pants. It's going to be kind of like a pizza shape, so you're going to have your triangle, and we're going to have a little flap on top, and that's what's going to fold over on your ribbon or string or whatever you're using to make it stay on when it's banner. Alright, let's go make about five of those. And you can cut these in any sorts of shapes, uh, squares, rectangles, the pendants with like the little triangle on the bottom. But I like the triangles just because they're simple and they're classic. And hey, I'm cutting pizza. Pro tip. If your paper is too thick for you to see through when you're tracing, put it up against the window and trace it there so the light will shine through. Once you're done cutting out your pennants, uh, you can illustrate whichever ones you want. I did two pattern ones that I did for my pattern paper, and I'm going to do three colored in ones. I'm doing one, that's just the title of the book. And then two with uh, people that are important in the book. I'm doing the fairy Lucinda because none of this book would, ha would have happened if she hadn't cursed Ella. And I'm also doing Ella with her magic book. I'm not going to tell you what the magic book does, but it's very important to her and helps her with the Cinderella parts of the story. So you're just going to watch me doodle for a little bit. 
what I like about this craft is it's very customizable. You can do whatever you want. You can do as many triangles as you want. You can spell out happy birthday. You can look up any fonts you want on your phone like I am to make your designs more customizable to whatever project you're doing. I'm looking through my copy of the book to find book quotes and descriptions of how Ella and Lucinda are supposed to look. But really, have fun with it. Do whatever you want. It can be as creative, as detailed, or as basic as you want. Have fun. This is a craft for young and old. Once you have your pennants all cut out and drawn out, you're going to attach them to your string, a ribbon, or whatever you're using to string them up together to make your bunting. So I'm not exactly measuring how long my ribbon needs to be, but you should at least have a couple inches left on either side so that you can attach the bunting wherever you want when you're hanging it up. So the way I'm doing it is I'm putting the pennants in the order that I want with the title in the center and then two patterned and then the other drawings on the ends and I'm leaving a little bit of space in between them so when they hang they'll hang at angles and they're not crowding each other and then once you have them lined up the way that you want what you're going to do is you're going to glue or however you're going to attach them. I'm using a glue stick so I'm going to glue the top flap that I designed to fold over. I'm going to put glue on it and then I'm going to fold it over and kind of sandwich the string in the middle so it stays put once the flap is attached to the bottom. You can also staple, paperclip, clothespin, whatever works for you. And it doesn't take that long to dry, so once you do that, it's pretty much done. And that's our craft, our Ella Enchanted themed bunting. Again, you can do this for something not book related. You could do it fancier with actual fabric or felt, make it a bit finer. But this is our DIY bunting, telling you all. The I Love Ella Enchanted, it's one of the best books. Um, Gail Carson Levine, this is really just another pitch for another offer to come visit me at a store personally. Gail Carson Levine is amazing. Please read her book. Please read Fairest, as I said in the opener. It's a companion novel in a neighboring kingdom. Ella's friend from school, it's her sister as she goes and visits uh, the palace fair. It's a retelling of Snow White. I read that before I read Ella Enchanted and... I love Ale Enchanted, but I might love Ferris a bit more because I'm rooting for the underdog. Read that one, too. They're both great. All right. See you next time.